Let's talk inspections. So I'm gonna go over a few basic things about inspections. That way, when you get prepared to buy your home and get your home inspected, you know what to look for and you know what to prepare for. So we're gonna go over the price. We're gonna go over what they go through once they get to the house, and then gonna let you know roughly about how long that takes and what's important for you as far as time when you should be there. So first, let's talk about how much it costs. So it all varies depending on the size of your home. Typically, it's, I would budget about $400. That's gonna cover a basic inspection for a home, anything under 2,500 square feet. It will go up incrementally based on how large that home is. So usually it's by 1,000 square feet or 2,000 square feet. Um, so, you know, it can, it can get up to six or $700 depending on the size of your home. A normal home in a regular subdivision that doesn't have a septic or a well, you're not going to have to get that inspected. So it's still going to be, you know, 400 to 600, depending on the size of your home. A termite inspection is going to be a hundred dollars. Um, and then if you want to get anything else outside of that, once this main inspection is done, you're more than welcome to, I wouldn't necessarily budget that in. Next, let's go over what they're gonna go through. So once the inspector's there, they're gonna go over all of the large items in the house and the small items. So they're not licensed to take apart any one specific thing, but they do know the build codes, they do know how the mechanics of the home should be running. So uh, if the air is going in the intake at one degree, it should be coming out of the outtake and the vents in the ceiling at a differential of 15 to 25 degrees. So if they don't have that, it's going to be marked deficient and you're going to want to get that checked by an AC specialist. Could be leaking Freon and you just need a little bit of servicing and it's no big deal, uh, but that's for an AC specialist to actually verify. It's not for the inspector to, to verify. They'll check the electrical box as well to make sure there's no aluminum wiring or anything that notes that maybe an electrician did not actually access that and do repairs or replace that box. Maybe somebody's uncle or friend or neighbor did that. So that's what the inspector is going to look for. They want to see, did a licensed person come in and do work on the home if anything was done or does it look like a novice did it someone that really just looked that up on youtube and thought they could get it done for their friend along with that they're going to check the oven they're going to make sure that it's set to the proper degrees that they set it to so if it's at 350 they want to see it read 350. you know if it's off by five or ten degrees they're not going to mark it deficient they will let you know on that inspection report so you know how to properly reset that once you do move into that house. They're gonna check your burners. They're gonna check everything in that kitchen to make sure it's hooked up properly. And if it's hooked up improperly, it's gonna be marked efficient. The most valuable time at the inspection when you're the buyer is gonna be the last 30 minutes whenever the inspector is actually wrapping up because they're turning everything off. They're letting you know the few things finish up that they need to to finalize their report as well as maybe the termite guys wrapping up. So while the termite guy is wrapping up or the well or septic guy, you can speak with the inspector who will go over everything that they found in the home and tell you what they marked deficient, why they marked it deficient, and if it's a major concern. Because to be honest, not everything on the inspection report needs to be take, taken care of right away. But what's important is that you know what needs to be addressed now and what can go on for a little bit that maybe is just a cosmetic deficient marked item and it's not a mechanically deficient marked item. So I would only budget about 30 minutes. In the event you can't get there, don't worry, it's okay. I'll be there and we'll also get the report afterwards. I'll go over it with you and if you feel that you'd like to speak with the inspector, he'll be more than happy to take a phone call um, or whatever you would feel is best in order to help you understand the inspection report. I trust this video was helpful and informative and if you have any questions on an inspection, the process, or any part of the home buying or selling process, feel free to give me a call.